Hi, I'm John, the anti-poverty engineer, and as the former leader of the Abolitionist Party of Canada, who ran for Prime Minister of Canada, I got the application to apply to go to the United Nations Millennium Assembly. And at the same time, I asked if I could make a speech on extending the LET's local employment trading system to the whole world as a UNILET's, a United Nations international and local employment trading system. And uh, I did manage to get it on the resolution, and this is the story leading up to that. LET's in the UN Millennium Forum Declaration, May 28, 2000. So, www.un.org slash millennium explains, quote, In seeking to contribute to the Millennium Assembly and the Millennium Summit of the United Nations, civil society organizations are organizing the Millennium Forum to be held on 22nd to 26th, May 2000, at the United Nations headquarters in New York, JCT, hosted by United Nations General Secretary Hafi Annan, who gave the opening speech at the first plenary session. The Millennium Forum was preparing their Millennium Forum Declaration to the Millennium, Millennium Assembly and Millennium Summit of World Leaders taking place at the United Nations in New York in September. So Appendix A is my application and statement. And uh, I wrote them, I said, subject to presentation of a United, of a Let's Community Currency Banking to the Eradication of Poverty Forum. I said, dear sirs and ladies, quote, can councils tackle, help tackle poverty, question mark. Stockport thinks it can and has launched an anti-poverty strategy, including a Let's Local Currency, unquote. UK Liberal Democratic News, November 29th, 1996. The Let's Local Employment Trading System is an interest-free time-based currency, which has been cited in almost every book on sustainable economics in the last 10 years. Let's has been hailed as an anti-poverty strategy by Christians, Muslims, Jews, by liberals, conservatives, Greens, laborites, and communists, and by the Australian and British parliaments. Let's is the first and only successful anti-poverty strategy in the world today. As one of the original Let's engineers, I've made presentations on expanding this anti-poverty system worldwide using the internet to the Toes People's Summit Conferences at Denver in 1997, Birmingham in 1998, and Cologne in 1999, including speaking to the Jubilee 2000 Chain of Debt demonstration. In 1993, I ran for Prime Minister of Canada as leader of the Anti-Debt Slavery Abolitionist Party of Canada and was included in the Royalty and Government section of the Guinness Book of Records in 1997. After I derived and published the equation linking inflation to interest rates, which proves that economics has the relationship backwards, Bishop of Worcester Peter Selby wrote in his book Grace and Mortgage, ISBN 0232521700, that, quote, Galbraith remarks, higher interest rates it is hoped quote will curb inflation on john termel a canadian engineer and campaigner against usury has brought algebra plumbing and poetry to bear on the task of demonstrating that dot 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 as a method it cannot finally work interest-free time currency banking by internet is an anti-poverty strategy whose time has come and i'd appreciate the chance to explain its unique and global potential Though many groups have sought to obtain relief for the debt problems of the poor, this leaves the system that generated the problem intact. The real problem is the growth of debt, and not debt per se. Interest-free, let's currency, has no debt growth, and such debt represents no problem. For more information on John Termel, see John Termel and my website. And more information on Let's, see my Urals Nat site. And more information on the mathematics of banking, johntermel.com slash bankmath.htm. Hoping a presentation on such a successful anti-poverty strategy can be included in the eradication of poverty, including debt cancellation and social development forum, I am yours truly, John C. Termel. Well, I got a letter back, freighted, dated May 16th, from Felicity Hill, saying, Dear John, could you speak at the first Globalization Workshop, Monday afternoon, 22nd, 4.30 till 6, for about five minutes. Globalization, people-centered economics, I stress five minutes, no more. Best wishes, Felicity Hill. 
Director of the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, United Nations office at UN Plaza. So I said, I hope to eventually have time to write a report on these adventures and engineering lets at the UN. But I got three more conferences coming up in the next two weeks where I'm going to keep pushing for uni lets where authorities run an international lets for us and speak with local currency groups in the area while there. There's too much time needed on the war to kill interest and there's not enough time to report on the battles. So, these are the Globalization Working Group recommendations for the Millennium Forum Declaration to the Millennium Summit as the final session at 1 p.m. on Friday the 26th, 2000. Quote, Facing the Challenges of Globalization, Equity, Justice, Diversity. Section 5, What the UN Must Do. 5.8, Promote Financing for Development. So the UN should establish a new debt arbitration process. Blah, 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 blah. But another idea of study should be the UNILETS, United Nations International and Local Employment Trading System. 5.9. Consider the Tobin tax, which is basically a tax on the rich splashing in the pool. No effect on the growth of debt in the pump house. But at the end, it says the abolition of the eradication of interest is an essential component in pursuing sustainable human development. And 510, reform of the international financial institutions. And the UN needs to monitor these institutions to ensure that all international decision-making processes are fully open and accountable as possible. There's also a need for introducing an ombudsman mechanism within WTO, World Bank, and IMF to investigate cases of alleged bias and injustice in their operations. And in particular, the UN should convene a conference similar to the Bretton Woods Conference of 1944 to discuss the adoption of the time standard of money and the abolition of interest rates. Now imagine if we could get the Davos and the World the uh, Social Forum to discuss the adoption of the time standard of money and the abolition of interest rates as recommended in our background briefings to the United Nations Unilets resolution. So I say Unilets is now to be recommended to the Millennium Forum Declaration to the Millennium Summit leaders, thanks to many local currency supporters and even LED system members who popped up in key positions during the conference. From a Letzer from Amsterdam taking it up to everyone for days, to the Global Resource Bank Letzer who always helped convincing the skeptical, to the wonderful Australian lass on the Globalization Drafting Committee, the clerk who'd belonged to not only one Let's but then a second after moving, and finally a third as she moves to Melbourne, Australia, where they have a big Let's, to the Iron Willed Committee Chairwoman who insisted Let's get in because it was doing something to help the poor people right now and should be extended to the whole world. World. Right now, she was great. She gave me every opportunity to speak, and I found friendlies from many large databases who see the advantages of a time standard of currency that they can set up right now for their members. One man with a 100K database made a key intervention pointing out that Buckminster Fuller had advocated energy-based money and letting me point out that manpower times time equals energy. I met other big databases now dreaming of coming online. A 12,000 member commercial barter system has contacted me about adopting the time standard for employment trading between your merchants and our underemployed people. There's only one cloud on the horizon. Though our recommendations have been submitted to the UN, the recommendations still haven't been published at the website. But if the bankers do have secret intelligence agents operating the UN communications controls, they must be having nightmares trying to find ways to censor all these related banking systems engineering recommendations from the big Millennium Forum Declaration to all the world leaders. Stay tuned at their website, that at that UN org slash millennium, to see if they try to alter or delete or censor the recommendations made by the Globalization Working Group for the Millennium Forum Declaration to the Millennium Summit of World Leaders on the recommendations that, one, the UN operate unilets using, two, the time standard of money with the, three, abolition of interest rate debt slavery. I'll try to post reports when I get time, but so much was done by so few to get lets on the global agenda that I can only wonder at what could be accomplished if all the thousands who are reading this sent a letter right now to the governments within their area asking them to endorse these banking systems engineering recommendations vouched for by the Guinness World Record Banking Systems Engineer. If we ever had a chance to end poverty by the abolition of interest worldwide, the opportunity has presented itself. 
We need more warriors and less spectators in these final days, leading to the upgrade of the world's banking systems engineering. The time to strike for freedom from debt growth is right now. Unilets is the world's salvation, and it arrives in time to focus maximum industrial power to ecological survival. Just imagine if all machinery was working three shifts a day, full time, instead of being laid off because they ain't got enough money to have three shifts going. Get your politicians to endorse the 1 p.m. Friday 26 Globalization Workshop Group Recommendations for the Millennium Forum Declaration to the Millennium Summit 5.8. Promote financing for development. 5.9. Consider the Tobin tax. 5.10. Reform the international financial institutions. Get your clergy, your friends, especially internet friends who have email address books and can see the deliverance of a Unilex time standard could offer from their debt slavery. I see the financial freedom and interest-free Unilex offers. I hope you do too. And go get it.